Good evening folks and welcome to another painting session. Today we're going to look at how I approach a photo study in Photoshop. Before we get started I'd just like to let you know I have a new website up LarryWilsonArt.com and I have launched my new project Shadowfall which is going to be a fantasy art book. Okay so let's get started. This painting was uh, about two hours and I've sped it up so it's around 20 minutes. Um, in Photoshop CS6 new canvas and I uh, bring my reference image in and I work in the same folder as reference image so that when I flip the canvas or I zoom out it just makes things a lot quicker and a lot easier. It also helps for measuring and getting my drawing quite accurate. Uh, for this piece I did not use the color picker from the reference image I just used my eye and the uh, colors app there. Um, unlike a quick uh, sketch paint I'm focused more on trying to get a accurate drawing down first so I'll spend quite a bit of time measuring um, drawing the line in my head with my hand um, moving over across onto the reference image drawing the line again in my imagination and then coming back and then finally putting that on the canvas and then um, making sure that the marks I put down are as correct as possible relative to the other marks I've put down I'll jump around quite a bit as things catch my eye and trying to keep the drawing as accurate as possible. Okay, so I've started to identify some different values in there, adding in some of the light. Um, quickly trying to separate the whole image into basically light and dark. Um, adds a lot of structure to the image and helps me plan how I'm going to use my colors. flipping the canvas so I can check the drawing. Um, at this stage I would say the drawing is, is still not complete. Um, I'll go back and adjust things constantly. Um, but the more information I put in, the more information I have to judge and compare to what I have put down previously. So starting to look um, at adding in some of the darker tones, um, some of the warmer tones there on the arm. No blending at the moment, just trying to put in the color as I see it. It's not as accurate as it uh, will be in the end. But again, it's always good to have a starting point. See, I don't stick with one area. I try and work on the entire canvas. So at any point, the whole canvas, the whole painting is pretty much progressing along at the same place. This kind of keeps the workflow fluid and helps me preventing getting bogged down in one area, overworking it and possibly making a mistake. Um, that would be a waste of time, I'd have to kind of backtrack. When you keep it loose like this and you work everywhere at the same time, you get a better feel for how accurate your image is and it's pretty quick to make changes on the fly. For most of this image I'm using pretty simple brushes. I think it's really just one brush that I painted the whole image with and um, well I, I laid in the color with the one brush and then I use a smudge tool um, and I have a special brush, smudge brush for that. And that's basically how I paint most of my my work. Um, laying in the color, flat color, and then going in and blending it with the smudge tool. Uh, there are some uh, texture brushes I think I used at the end, just to add a little bit more um, natural feel to the piece. Just to quickly talk about the reference image, um, I spent a lot of time looking for images that appealed to me and um, 
that speak to me in some way and that I'm inspired to paint and I try to make sure that the quality of the image is as good as possible. Um, the better your reference image, the better your painting is going to be. But at the same time, while this is a photo study, my ultimate goal here is not to produce an image that is entirely photorealistic. I still want to retain the feel of a painted image. So I am looking at the reference image purely as a source material, but not something that I want to copy exactly. So you'll see there's some parts of the image where I use a bit of artistic license. Um, I leave some detail out, I edit some detail, balance things a little bit differently. Um, but for the most part, I am trying to capture the essence of the pose. And this was a good exercise in color as I was trying to match the color as closely as I could. You can see there I was actually redrawing parts of the, the foot and the leg and um, just making changes and adjustments as I go along. Uh, I keep editing and keep changing, keep fixing until I feel it's correct. Starting to work on the colors a little bit more accurately now. Looking at that leg, trying to match that as closely as I can. Um, I've done a bit of blending on the background, uh, on the bigger areas. But for the most part, the body is still pretty much just the, the local color. Um, but I'll start to blend in areas now. Um, when I start looking for color correctness, I need to see the blended color to give a feel of how the colors are moving across the form. In this piece I decided to leave the background a little bit simpler. I did not paint in the buildings. I wanted there to be a little bit more of a focus on her form and keeping her separate from the background. And I felt that the buildings kind of confused the issue a little bit. Starting to tighten up some of the details, the colors on the back. You can see that some of it's still a little bit hot, and those colors will be toned down. The form's still a little bit off too. There's a uh, angle to her hips that isn't quite accurate. But as you focus on different things, you'll notice that other things start to catch your eye and come back and fix them. that area I was actually doing something a little bit different there. Uh, to help blend some of the areas a little bit closer together, I'll usually just take a huge soft airbrush and just lightly go over the whole area with a color or tone that I've selected from the area. This just helps me to unify and blend some of the areas that are in the shadow and keep my light and dark separate.
little point I'd like to make with regards to using your reference and about not being a slave to your reference. You can see I've adjusted some elements of the drawing and the composition, but I can also do that with the values and the colors. This is my painting and I'm putting a part of me into it and so it's my interpretation of the reference material. I can make certain areas cooler or warmer however I want to. Uh, just don't be afraid to experiment. Okay, so we are about halfway through the painting process. Um, this painting was done in one session, two hours long. And right now, most of the areas are blocked in, and the rest of the video is really going to be about refining everything. Adjusting the pose, adjusting the lighting, adjusting the colors. So I'm going to let the video play now, and I will catch up later towards the end. Thanks for watching. Enjoy!
All right, so the piece is almost done now, and what I'm doing here is just using a variety of uh, texture brushes and lightly putting in some texture just to give a natural feel to the piece, trying to move away from that strict digital feel. Some skin texture, just adding in some pore details. I'm still refining and fixing as I go along, just minor tweaks. Just testing some stuff on different layers. I think I used a little bit of an overlay layer there on the hair. But for the most part, uh, everything is painted on just a standard layer. So as this painting comes to an end, I just want to recap quickly. This is just one way I approach a photo study. I don't do all of my studies this way, all of my illustrations. If there's anything that I've left out uh, that you'd like me to talk about, please leave me a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you about that. And there you go guys, that's the finished painting. I hope you enjoyed that and maybe learned something. Um, as always, please subscribe and share. The support is much appreciated. And if you have time, go check out my website, larrywilsonart.com. You can support my new project Shadowfall there. And I have some items in my store. Thanks again. See you on the next video. Cheers.